Hi friends, today we're reading Super Growth, Going Buggy. Chapter 1, The Lowdown on Bugs. Hello, my name is Dr. Ick. It's a delightful name, isn't it? Bugs are my speciality. I just love a good bug. The creepier and the crawlier, the better. This is my good friend, Sam. He is not a fan of bugs. Did you know that there are millions of species of insects? That's too many insects for one book. But in this book, you will read about some of the biggest, smallest, and creepiest ones. Some insects live in large groups. They each have a job to do. Some are considered workers, while others are crowned the queen. So what exactly is an insect? Insects are invertebrates. All insects have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. The bugs in this book are all insects. The more general term bug can include insects as well as arachnids like spiders and scorpions and meropopods like centipedes and millipedes. So you can say all insects are bugs, but not all bugs are insects. Most insects have six legs. They also have antennae. Wow, if I had six legs, I could run really fast. Insects live all over the world in many different environments. But there are only three species of insects that live in Antarctica. One of them is a tiny fly called a Bellica, Antarctica. Its dark purple coloring helps it absorb sunlight. Chapter 2, Flying Bugs Big and Small. Now that we know what an insect is, let's talk about some creepy looking ones that fly. Meet the scorpion. It has a black and yellow body and a long beak and a tail. It likes to eat dead bugs or whatever bug is trapped in a spider web. Next, I would like to introduce you to the palmetto bug. The palmetto bug is another name for the American cockroach. It can grow up to two inches long. That's larger than the size of a quarter. Now let's see the Royal Goliath beetle. It is one of the largest bugs in the world and can be as large as a human hand. Some of its favorite foods are fruit and tree sap. Want to learn about the largest fly in the world? Say hello to Garomitis heroes. They can be as long as three inches and like to eat flower nectar. This is the mango fly. They live mainly in Africa. If they bite someone, they can give them a disease called African eyeworm. The larvae of the eyeworm will grow and live inside the person's eyeballs. Check out the thorn bug. They fly from plant to plant. Their thorns pierce plant tissue, allowing them to eat the sap. Let's move on to one of the world's most well-known pests, the mosquito. Female mosquitoes bite humans because they need to drink blood before they can lay eggs. Some mosquitoes prefer human blood, but others prefer animal blood. Chapter 3. Watch Your Step Here are some of the creepiest bugs that crawl on the ground. First, here is the driver ant. These ants travel in large groups. They can march in groups of as many as 22 million at a time. Driver ants are carnivores and mostly eat earthworms, but they will attack any animal in their way. Next, meet the giant Wita. Wita means god of ugly things. They live in New Zealand. Giant Wita can weigh up to two and a half ounces, making them one of the heaviest insects in the world. That's about the weight of a small apple or a deck of playing cards. Sam, check out this insect called the silverfish. It mostly lives in people's home and eats dead insects, paper, and even glue. Silverfish are speedy. They are one of the fastest insects when they run back and forth. This is the camel cricket. Using their long limbs, they leap from place to place. Leaping is the way they scare away predators. Check out the earwig. It gets its name because it was thought to crawl into people's ears while they were asleep. But they don't do that. They just like to hide under leaf piles and mainly eat flowers, leaves, and other insects. Guess what? Did you know that bugs are very important to our planet? Bugs help break down and get rid of waste. 
They also pollinate flowers, fruits, and vegetables, helping them to grow. Let's celebrate our wonderful buggy friends. Wow, that was a really cool story. Make sure you like and subscribe for more read aloud fun. Have a great day.